Ankle fractures anatomy. The talus is wider anteriorly than posteriorly. When the ankle dorsiflexes, the fibula rotates externally through the syndesmosis to accommodate the wider anterior part of the talus. The fibula is connected to the tibia through the interosseous membrane proximally, and then around the ankle you will have ligaments, the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament, and the posterior inferior tibiofibular ligament, and the interosseous ligament. These are the ligaments that involve stability of the syndesmosis. These are the ligaments that are responsible for stability of the ankle in external rotation. These ligaments are different than the lateral collateral ligament. The lateral collateral ligament that is involved in ankle sprain are the anterior talo fibular ligament, not tibiofibular, the posterior talo fibular ligament, and the calcaneo fibular ligament. These are restraint to inversion of the ankle and anterior translation of the talus. Then you have the medial malleolus with a groove for the posterior tibial tendon. So when posterior collicular fracture occurs, this tendon support the fracture so the fracture doesn't displace. The medial malleolus have two collicular parts, the anterior colliculus and the posterior colliculus, and they have an inter Curricular groove between them. The anterior curriculus is about 5 mm longer than the posterior one. The deltoid ligament provides the medial support to the ankle. It's composed of two parts the superficial deltoid ligament, which arises from the anterior curriculus, and the deep part, the deep deltoid which comes from the posterior colliculus and the intercollicular groove. It is an intra-articular ligament that cannot be repaired, but you can debreed it. When the fracture in the medial malleolus occurs, it can be one of these types. The supracollicular fracture that's above both the anterior and posterior colliculus, and it can be an anterior collicular fracture by itself, means bony injury by itself, which is small little avulsion fracture, or it can be anterior colliculus fracture plus the deep deltoid ligament, because of the direction of the force can injure the bone and the deltoid ligament. Or it can be fracture of the posterior colliculus, which you need an external rotation view to see. It's an AP external rotation view, which is different than the posterior malleolus fracture, which you get lateral external rotation view. So, for the sake of completion of this topic, if you have a vertical fracture of the medial malleolus, which is spination adduction, make sure you don't have anterior medial marginal impaction. Make sure you put the screws parallel to the joint or use anti-glide buttress plate.
If you have an interior collector fracture, the fragment may be too small to fix with the screws and you may want to use tension band technique. If it is posterior collector, it's probably stable, you may not need to fix. If it is supra collector, you're probably going to use a screws that you use routinely, which is perpendicular to the fracture. And make sure you are not inside the joint by getting an AP view of the ankle itself. How about the nerves around the ankle? There are three nerves. The saphenous nerve is at risk of injury when you fix the medial malleolus. It's usually superior and anterior to the tip of the medial malleolus. How about the superficial perineal nerve? It crosses from the lateral to the anterior compartment, and this crossing may vary, and it is vulnerable to injury during lateral plating of the fibula. It crosses the ankle anterior to the fibula, and it is usually about 10 centimeter from the fibula tip, and it runs above the extensor retinaculum. How about the shoren nerve? The shoren nerve is vulnerable to injury distally, especially when you do posterolateral plating or when you do posterior plating of the fibula. And the superior perineal retinaculum also could be injured when you do posterior plating of the fibula. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.